Hey, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. I've come out with some stinking cute new merchandise in different styles and colors. You can find the link to my merchandise in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you another DIY using these mini building blocks that the Dollar Tree carries. These are a mini version of the adult Jenga blocks. You can find these on the toy aisle at just about any Dollar Tree. And in the past I have done a really cool DIY using these. I will leave the link to that video in the description box below and on the end screen of this video. So all you have to do is tap on it to watch it. Today I'm bringing to you another DIY using these and this is such an easy, fun DIY and the outcome is amazing. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I've come up with using Dollar Tree's mini wood building blocks. For this DIY from the Dollar Tree, I picked up three of these tumbling tower blocks. I'll also be using some of this decorative nautical rope, some twine, some of Aileen's tacky glue, and I'll also be using this liquid shoe polish that you can get at any dollar store in the colors of brown and black. For this DIY, I'll be using only the natural colored tumbling blocks. And I'm gonna start off by gluing three blocks together using the Aileen's Tacky Glue that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put just a bit of this glue on the side. You don't wanna to put too much because when you put them together, you don't want the glue spilling out on the top and on the bottom. So you're left with these three blocks glued together. I'm gonna to put together eight sets of three total. Now taking four of the eight blocks, I'm gonna glue them together on top of each other, giving me a stack of four. I'm gonna do this to the remaining four blocks as well, leaving me with these two sets that are stacked four high. I'm now going to glue 13 blocks together side by side, and I'm gonna do four sets of 13 blocks. When gluing these blocks together side by side, you really wanna make sure that your blocks are even and really lined up on the top and on the bottom. I've got my four sets of 13 blocks. Now I'm gonna glue them together on top of each other, giving me a nice solid block. Just like this. Now I'm gonna glue together six blocks side by side, and I'm gonna do four sets of six. Once I've got my four sets of six, blocks glued together, I'm going to glue two of these sets together side by side. Then I'm going to place some glue on top of these two sets and I'm going to place the additional two sets of six right on top, giving us a platform or a base. Now it's time to put all these pieces that I glued together, together. I'm going to glue the two smaller blocks to the sides of this longer block of 13, and I'm gonna glue it three blocks down from the top. And I'm gonna do this with both blocks on each side of this block, leaving me with this wood cross. Now I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours before I move on to the next step. Once it's dry, I'm gonna take the base of blocks I'm gonna place some of my glue on the bottom of this cross, and yes, I'm using my finger because I already cleaned my brushes, and I'm gonna place my cross right in the center of this base. And again, I'm gonna set this aside and let it get good and dry before I move on to the next step. For this DIY, I ended up having 10 of these wood blocks left over, and so I thought I'd make a miniature cross and make it an ornament for my Christmas tree. 
I'm gonna let this cross dry and then I'll show you what I do with these crosses next. For this next step, I will be using this brown liquid shoe polish that you can get at just about any Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. I'm gonna use a paper towel and I'm gonna remove the sponge part from the top of the shoe polish. And I'm gonna do that so I can use a paintbrush to apply the shoe polish to my wood. This is a great alternative to using wood stain and it's a much more budget friendly way of staining your wood if you're doing a wood project like I am doing today. Using a liquid shoe polish to stain your wood works just the same as using a wood stain. It dries the same and it doesn't rub off. Leaving my cross looking like this. I'm not done yet, so stick with me. And I'm gonna stain the smaller cross as well. Using some of the black liquid shoe polish, I'm gonna add some of that to this because I wanna darken this cross up. I don't much like the pink orange tone that this brown shoe polish has. So by adding the black to it, it's gonna give it a nice deep walnut brown, that rustic farmhouse brown that I absolutely love. And I can't forget about the little cross, so I'm gonna darken this one up as well. And would you just look at how gorgeous this brown is that I have achieved by using liquid shoe polish. This brown is so rich and so rustic. I absolutely love it. And I did it for the bargain price of $2 and I still have a lot of shoe polish left. I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll move on to the next step. My cross is good and dry. Taking the rope from the Dollar Tree, I thought I'd add some rope to the base of this cross, just the outside of it to kind of give it that finished rustic look. This would not be one of my creations without a twine flower. So using some of Dollar Tree's twine, I'm gonna make one of my homemade flowers that I make by wrapping the twine around my fingers several times to get the thickness that I'm happy with. Once I've gotten the thickness that I'm happy with, I'm gonna take another piece of twine and I'm gonna tie it off in the middle. And I'm gonna make a total of three bundles of this twine. Once I've got my three bundles of twine, I'm gonna separate my loops and I'm gonna hot glue these bunches right on top of each other, just offsetting them a bit to give me a full twine flower. And I'm gonna finish this off with a brown button that I had in my stash by gluing it in the middle of my flower. And the perfect place for this flower is right in the center of my cross. Would you look at how gorgeous this cross is? And to finish this cross off, I'm gonna make a hanger for this cross out of twine. I'm gonna make it three strands thick. I'm gonna glue my strands together and just simply glue it to the back of this cross. If you wanna make more of these crosses, you can make about three of these crosses out of one box of tumbling blocks. That is three cross ornaments for a dollar and a little bit of DIY and I'm gonna finish this off with a mini twine flower as well in the center. Look at how stinking cute that is. What a beautiful ornament to add to your Christmas tree. So easy, so inexpensive, and what fun to make. Oh my word, I am so totally in love with the look of this cross. I love how rustic it looks. Not only is this an amazing decor piece, but with Christmas coming would make for an amazing gift. And how about this mini cross to go along with it? Such a beautiful addition to any Christmas tree on a budget or an even better idea. Something I like to do every Christmas is to make an ornament for everybody in my family and attach it to their gift. So I think that this cross came out so stinking cute. I love how rustic and farmhouse it is. You know how I am with my farmhouse decor and boy oh boy, I just can't seem to get enough of it. This DIY can very easily be painted and done to suit any decor style, really. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow a bit faster and it helps for YouTube to notice me a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.